The man we are about to introduce you to is living history in Dallas and who worked to ensure Hispanics were included in the city's conversation. Steve Pickett introduces us to Trini Garza in this week's Ones for Texas. Well, my whole focus was, was inclusiveness. His whisper of a voice still underscores the echo of his style of activism and service that dates back five decades. Emma Conway had been the first African American elected, and I became the first Hispanic. Trini Garza will be 90 years old in September. In 1969, he became Dallas's first elected Hispanic school board member. Hispanics were considered white, whites and blacks, and uh, our objection to that. An election built on representation of a minority ethnic group, technically not deemed one by court rulings during Dallas ISD's racial desegregation era of the 1960s. We have to fight for our rights, and um, but that 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 should remember real well that they wanted Hispanics to be counted with whites. Latino children are now the overwhelming majority of the 145,000 students attending Dallas's 200 plus schools now. When Garza was elected to the school board, his mission was clear, he said. So my focus at that time was to um, bring for the board issues that were important to the Metro American community, bilingual education, and then open the doors for Hispanics. In 1973, he helped lead the march against Dallas police after a police officer shot and killed 13-year-old Santos Rodriguez. That march turned into what many called Dallas's first riot against police brutality. Today, there is a Dallas ISD school named in his honor, Trinidad Trini Garza Early College High School. 50 years after being the first, a school system with Hispanic student enrollment now the majority. Trini Garza says the work to develop more Latino leaders for Dallas isn't done. Well, it has improved, but it still needs to keep going. <clears throat> for example, we have more Hispanics in the city council on, on the school board. But I think it's very important that we be part of an inclusive leadership uh, team because we can't address all of the problems ourselves. In Dallas, Steve Pickett, CBS 11 News. What an incredible legacy. All right.